Who are some people who made the most out of their career move? Let's get right to it and start with number five. Catch me outside. How about that? Danielle Brigoli achieved fame practically overnight after a Dr. Phil appearance where she uttered her infamous catchphrase, Cash me outside, how about that? Brigoli was 13 when she appeared on an episode of the Dr. Phil show where her mother spoke about her daughter's outrageous behavior. Behavior that the American audience subsequently rewarded her for. After her appearance, Brigoli attended a school for troubled teens on a ranch in Utah, but she quickly returned to her old antics when she got home, surprising everyone. A year after her appearance on the show, Brigoli was in a juvenile court pleading guilty to charges of grand theft, marijuana possession, and filing a false police report. She stole her mother's car and purse and told police that her mother had been using Brigoli spread powdered sugar on a bathroom counter and reported it to the police. Authorities caught her in a car with marijuana as well, leading to her being arrested. When she appeared in court in Palm Beach, she burst into tears. A representative from the Juvenile Department of Justice acknowledged that there was a significant change in Brigoli, who was remorseful for her actions. Her father, Erta Peskowitz, is a sheriff's deputy in Palm Beach and expressed concern that she was being forced into these actions and was worried about who was profiting from Brigoli's activities. After pleading guilty, Brigoli received five years of probation. Peskowitz wanted her to complete her probation in Palm Beach, but the judge allowed her to do it in California instead. She also had to take courses in sexual education, anti-theft, and domestic violence. Additionally, she had to participate in 100 hours of community service and was given a curfew of 5 p.m. to 6 a.m. That same month, she announced that she would be launching a rap career. Her first single was partially leaked by TMZ, where she bragged about her fame and fortune. She used the stage name Bad Baby. Five years after she was on Dr. Phil, Brigoli bought a $6.1 million Florida mansion in cash. The home was 9,200 square feet and had seven bedrooms and seven bathrooms. She was 19 when she purchased the property, which sat on one acre of land and had a two-story guest house. It had many luxurious amenities, such as a pool, an eat-in chef's kitchen, top-of-the-line appliances, a primary bedroom with three large walk-in closets, an outside jacuzzi area, and an ensuite with a walk-in rain shower. The home also had a billiard club room, a wine storage space, and a dry sauna. It was Brigoli's second home. The first house she owned was a five-bedroom, seven-bathroom estate in the same neighborhood as the new one. Brigoli has several streams of revenue. Her manager, Adam Kluger, helped her land multi-million dollar deals and set her up to work with Atlantic Records. She has brand deals with online retailers like Copycat Beauty and Fashion Nova and launched her own indie music label. Her music was streamed over one and a half billion times and in 2017, she was the youngest female rapper on the Billboard Hot 100. Brigoli's other source of income was her OnlyFans account, which she started when she turned 18. In her first six hours on the platform, she earned $1 million, breaking a record. Despite keeping the amount she earned for her photos and videos on the platform quiet, she admitted that she would never have to worry about money again. Unfortunately, life wasn't perfect for Rigoli. She dealt with childhood trauma and suffered from prescription pill abuse. In June 2020, she went to rehab and completed a 30-day program. In August 2022, six years after Brigoli's 2016 appearance on The Dr. Phil Show, she announced she would launch a scholarship. She wanted to help others create their paths to success as she had. She partnered with Edu Capital Foundation and created the Bad Scholarship Award. The $1.7 million scholarship was designed to help enroll students nationwide in technical and trade schools. Recipients of the scholarship would have the opportunity to learn about various professions ranging from the business of special plants to cybersecurity to cosmetology. She hoped to help people become educated in these trades despite not having the money to do so on their own. Each recipient would receive 
$1,000 toward their trade school education. On top of that, 50 graduates would receive $10,000 in startup capital, enabling them to launch their own business. Brigoli also planned to handpick graduates that would receive full-ride scholarships. And in another life, she could have seen herself as a nail technician where her interest in trade schools began. As well as continuing to work on her music, Brigoli eventually hopes to open more of her own businesses, one of them being a nail salon. She likes the idea of opening a franchise so that she could have salons in different areas. Brigoli attributes her success to being strong-willed and working hard and hoped she could empower others to do the same. It definitely wasn't because of America's appetite for watching train wrecks. It was her strong will and notorious work ethic. Number four, Matthew Flamini. Matthew Flamini is a successful French soccer player who's played on some of the best teams in the world. However, Flamini's true fortune came when he founded GF Biochemicals, a company working towards revolutionizing the energy industry. Soccer fans know Flamini as a midfield player that played for Arsenal, Milan, Crystal Palace, and others. He represented his country in international games, but he had another passion that would soon be his focus. In 2008, Flamini teamed up with his business partner, Pasquale Granada, to work on mass-producing levulinic acid. Their goal was for their product to become a sustainable alternative to oil-based products. Levulinic acid could replace petroleum in all forms and have other uses that could forever change the way that plastics, fuel, cosmetics, food preservatives, and even pharmaceuticals are produced. Flamini's vision was to lessen the environmental impact of oil-based products. Those products pose a significant risk to our planet and contribute to global warming, ocean acidification, and rising sea levels. Through years Years of research, GF Biochemicals figured out a way to mass produce levulinic acid on an industrial but cost effective scale and patented their method. Flamini was heavily involved in the bio world and sustainability community. He helped create BioCircle, the first master's degree dedicated to promoting bioeconomy education in Europe. He also co founded the world's first e magazine devoted to eco sustainability. GF Biochemicals increased its investment in the biochemical industry in 2016 when it acquired. Segetis. At the time, Segetis led the production of levulinic acid derivatives in the United States. The amount GF Biochemicals paid for the company was never released, although it likely came at a high price. However, the acquisition meant that GF Biochemicals gained the company's assets and intellectual property. Segetis had over 250 patents for plastics, biopolymers, personal care products, fragrances, agricultural chemicals, adhesive strips, and household and industrial cleaners. Following the acquisition, Position, GF Biochemicals was able to produce a much wider range of bio-based products, and this was the beginning of significant growth for the organization. GF Biochemicals' next move was to partner with American Process Inc., an organization that operated a Georgia-based biorefinery where they produced cellulosic sugars. They made the sugars by extracting them from grass, plants, and wood, and were able to use them to create levulinic acid, making them a tremendous asset to GF Biochemicals. Together, the company's plan to build a cellulosic biorefinery to expand the production of levulinic acid from 10,000 tons a year to 200,000 tons a year. Together, the company's plan to build a cellulosic biorefinery to expand the production of levulinic acid from 10,000 tons a year to 200,000 tons a year. The partnership with American Process helped steer the company toward the next step in its strategy. They spent a lot of their early days proving they could produce levulinic acid at a competitive cost to their oil-based competitors. As for Flamini, GF Biochemicals' growth steered him towards becoming a billionaire, with the company on track to make billions. Number three, Cabby Lame. Cabby Lame dethroned TikTok superstar Charlie D'Amelio when he overtook her number of followers in July 2022. Lame moved from Senegal to Italy and worked at a factory until he was laid off in 2020. Following the loss of his job, he began making funny videos. Unlike many other influencers on the platform, Lame's videos had no words. He relied on his facial expressions to make people laugh, and they did. Because Lame's content didn't have a language barrier, he was able to amass a global audience. As of January 2020, he had 153 million followers, a number that has steadily grown. Not only did he become one of the app's most popular performers, but he also became a multi-millionaire. Endorsement deals with brands like Hugo Boss and Pepsi helped take his career to the next level. In 2021, he joined the gaming world and made a commercial for the Xbox Series S in his unique comedic style. Other brands that monetized off his international fame were Netflix and the fantasy sports platform Dream11. His content was used 
YouTubers and ads for Instagram and TikTok. While his popularity made him very wealthy, the cost of producing his content stayed low. His innovative videos were small budget productions, making it easy for him to keep making them and profit along the way. Unlike others on the platform, Lame stayed true to his roots and continued producing the material that made him successful. He has never said a word on the platform and has amassed an estimated $15 million net worth, all from just doing a simple motion that gets everyone to relate. Number two, no more school. A former high school teacher became a millionaire after ditching the classroom and turning to OnlyFans for her income. Courtney Tilia was once a special needs educator in Arizona and struggled to support her family. She was in her early 30s when she knew that something had to change and found an unconventional way to rapidly increase her income when she started sharing explicit content on the popular platform. After three years, she was raking in millions of dollars from her accounts. She managed three accounts, one that has a VIP page, a free page, page and a merchandise store. The VIP page was her most profitable, bringing in roughly $380,000 in monthly subscriptions. She's also made hundreds of thousands of dollars from messaging fans, as customers would tip her for performing requests, the one she's willing to do, of course. No longer tied to a teacher's salary, she started enjoying solo vacations to Colombia and Jamaica, and family getaways to Hawaii and Nashville. She didn't just spend her earnings on herself, though, as she frequently donates money to homeless shelters across Los Angeles. Tilia decided to leave teaching in 2016 when she was so stressed about money that she began to hate her job. She also became depressed as the financial struggles of the job took away her enjoyment. As a mother of four, she had her family to worry about. If she hadn't stopped teaching, she would have had to wait 25 years to make the money she made through her OnlyFans accounts. Tilia's situation was nothing new for teachers who have seen their salaries decline over the past decade and are often underpaid. Once she gained financial freedom, she could do the things she'd always wanted to do and is happier than ever. Tilia doesn't feel shame over her newfound career and has her family support for her change in occupation. As well as being an OnlyFans model, she started a life coaching business where she helped other women emulate her success. Her focus was to remove any guilt or shame over embracing their sultriness. Tilia wanted to create a safe environment where the women felt comfortable enough with themselves to feel free to express themselves. Her clients live worldwide, including the US, Australia, and Europe. Ultimately, her goal was to make others feel as free as she did by helping them change their lives and gain financial independence. Number one, turning blonde. Sometimes making a lot more money doesn't take too much effort. And in this case, it only took a change in hair color. A TikToker by the name of Rachel decided to dye her brunette locks blonde and swap her minimal makeup routine for a more glamorous one. Just a simple change of the color of her hair dramatically increased her earnings by more than triple as a casino cocktail waitress. Rachel used to rock a plain and subtle style, but found that customers preferred a more over-the-top image. Not only did she change her hair and makeup routine, but she also revamped her closet. Rachel always wore crop tops and pink attire, but altered her style to have a more bimbo-like appearance. She added corsets that cinched her waist and accentuated her figure. Following the makeover, Rachel made much higher tips, averaging around a $5 tip per drink. She could sell up to 70 drinks during a shift, and her annual earnings were between $80,000 and $100,000. Rachel spoke out on TikTok about making more than people with college degrees, and that the older generation didn't have a clue how much her generation could earn in tips. Many other users shared similar experiences, talking about how they lost tips when they dyed their hair from blonde to another color, or that their tips went up when they went blonde. They also said that people would beg them to dye their hair other colors, but that blonde was the most lucrative for them in their professions. Some users commented that a degree is better to have as it lasts a lifetime versus working as a server, which wouldn't be sustainable forever. They pointed out that they were once servers, but youth and beauty would fade. But that just sounds like haters to us. Click to watch one of these next videos. Let us know in the comments below which platform would you rather pick to keep, TikTok or Instagram?